Hey guys, we take here at Blueberry Hill. So here we are. We're uh, starting to make the frames for the uh, the windows. Uh, here I am. Uh, I'm actually doing a test uh, cut with my dry cut saw, and you see all the sparks. Uh, the blade is dead. I I ordered another one. I knew that. Um, I hadn't replaced it until this. I thought it might do a few more, but uh, obviously not. Anyway, putting a new blade on there. It'll make a world of difference. Once you see uh, no sparks, you're kind of good to go. So these blades, uh, they last. I don't know, I can make probably like 100 cuts, 150 cuts, and then the, yeah, the blade kind of goes dead. Um, I use WD-40 to squirt on the blade to, to cool it off, just lubricate stuff, and uh, that kind of helps it along. Anyway, here I'm making the, the window frames. Um, got quite a few to make. So this video is kind of a collection of just me making frames. Uh, not the most exciting thing, but hopefully somebody will get uh, some ideas on what, what they can do. Um, here I am. Uh, most of our windows, we have 43 windows total. A lot of them are six feet tall. The majority of them are six feet tall, three and four feet wide. So a lot of cutting. There's a lot of parts. Um, I had to go and grab, uh, I think, a total of like 34 uh, sticks so far. Um, and that'll we'll have uh, actually bought four or five extra just for the doors. Uh, but uh, at this point, just all window work. Anyway, uh, all 45 degree angles. Um, I measure I, I measure every single one of them. I don't use um, any one of them as a template. Uh, that sometimes bites you in the butt. But uh, basically, you just turn it over, measure it up like I'm, I'm showing you there. Um, cut, you know, measure on the inside of the 45, not the actual uh, inside dimension of the tube. Um, and then uh, align it. I keep moving it. You can see me kind of playing a little bit. And then I uh, just kind of draw the saw down. This saw is amazing. Um, the, uh, the dry cut saw is very precise, so once you set it on an angle, um, the way it works. Um, and uh, just rinse and repeat. It took me two days to do this. So uh, I'm actually working with a uh, hurt shoulder as well. I'll, I might show that in the uh, upcoming section of the video. Uh, my tore a muscle, something in my shoulder, um, and you might get to see my uh, very purple arm. Um, I can still use my bicep and everything else, so it's not like it's a bicep tear. I think it's a shoulder injury of some some kind. Um, not worth going to the doctor for it because they're not going to do anything for me at this point. But anyway, so off to work, right? Um, so I'm just doing a stack. There you go. Here's here's my arm. <laughs> this is real time. So it looks pretty ugly. Uh, that's just a bruise. The injury, <laughs> the injury is I think in the center deltoid. Um, and what happened is my shoulder spasmed for two days for about four hours at a time and uh, caused the, the bruising so I'm not too worried about it at this point everything functions it just doesn't feel good so it is what it is so you see the big stack of uh, cut pieces on the right there I'm just I'm showing this angle on purpose uh, so you can see how many pieces I've been cutting um, again a lot of three foot four foot and six foot sections. There's a couple of windows that are two foot wide. I think two or three of those. I, I might not show you those, making those, but anyway, it's the same thing for every single window. Um, I'm almost getting ready to finish up cutting. That's the last stick, I believe. And then uh, the next day I start assembling the, the windows. Um, actually, I think I start assembling the same day. Um, I cut all morning and then I started building the uh, frames. Uh, we had 18 windows already made they're in the house the container uh, leaning on the walls and I have to make the remainder um, for a total of 43 anyway went went quicker than we thought um, Angie helped a little bit I don't show her running around helping me too much but um, it's a lot easier when you have two people measuring and stuff and making everything square um, the cutting was you know it's monotonous it's a uh, rinse and repeat just keep cutting making sure all the cuts are legit and uh, stack them that's a conveyor belt kind of build system, and uh, off I went. So I'm trying to the, uh, the last cut here uh, for prosperity reasons. Uh, yay, we are done. Last cut to go. I stack it, and then we start grinding. So here moving on to the, uh, the grinding uh, aspect of the, uh, the work, all of you bevel out you know, just for the weld to actually uh, work better. 
all the edges are beveled and the outside sharp edge is, is blunted uh, so the weld will actually have something to uh, stick to. Um, sharp sharp edges do not weld well, they'll just burn through and uh, it'll be a mess. So anyway, here's the welding, it's uh, been at this for a while, uh, grind and go, <laughs> it took a while to do this. Um, I don't even know how many, there are like a hundred and something pieces right there uh, that I went through. A couple hours worth of work and uh, it's done. Now we're in the construction phase, yay! So once uh, all the, the corners are pretty cut pretty true, I'm using uh, magnets that I bought from Harbor Freight, 90 degree, they're uh, supposed to hold up to 50 pounds, so they work really well. Once you square this up, it actually sits really good. Um, I do meticulous measuring, you'll see me, this is the first piece I'm doing, so it takes me five times longer than any other piece I did after this uh, to get right. Um, so I measure the width, make sure it's good, and all the window, the rough openings are half inch larger than the window itself. So this is a 4x8 window, so everything's 4 feet plus a half, 6 feet plus a half. So make sure you have uh, enough room to put the window in there. Anyway, so um, the true test is diagonals, of course, make sure it's square. And uh, you'll see me playing with that on this one quite a bit. Um, again, so the first one I, I was doing, just to show you what I went through here. After this, it kind of started snapping in a little bit easier and things went a lot faster. I completed the entire uh, frame building, which is whatever 43 minus 18 is. Yeah, whatever. Uh, simple math is hard. Yep. Anyway, uh, I did those in a day and a half, um, roughly about uh, 11 hours worth of work. So it went pretty easily and quick. So after measuring the, uh, make sure the diagonals are true, I start welding. I uh, tack weld every corner, um, take the magnet off, and I changed my method a little bit uh, later on. I started doing actually more of a seam weld once I knew it was true. Um, I, I put the bead on there and I started doing a little, little longer uh, welds on each corner as I went through the whole rectangle process. Anyway, see Angie back there running around. She was helping me here on and off, and uh, of course the dogs are running around as well. <laughs> but there were no help whatsoever. So once I, uh, you know, got the rhythm of all this. Again, this is the first one I did, so it took longer. But uh, pretty straightforward. I just run a bead on everything. Uh, you know. People say you have to relieve, uh, put a relief hole in there for the, the gases to get out of there because you're sealing up the tubes. Yeah, I think there's enough gas in there. It doesn't really care. So just seam weld everything. I made sure everything was seamed. There's no hole anywhere. Um, and uh, then I come around, of course, grind everything flat. I use my uh, six inch grinder. That thing is a beast. Love it. Uh, it makes work of this stuff uh, very quick. Um, I just need a lot of grinding pads <laughs> so but anyway it works really good uh, flip it over finish weld the other side and done and just do that another you know, whatever 28 times and uh, we'll be good to go so there's uh, usually the uh, if there was a little bit of a gap you see me working on this one a little bit more so that probably means that the cut uh, the, the saw the dry cut saw uh, a couple times moved off of uh, center for me I don't know if you saw me uh, checking the level on the, the 45 degree angle on it I don't believe I saw that in the video when I was watching the, the replays but anyway it, it walks a little bit so you have to reset and if there's a gap it takes a little bit longer to weld but you know w welding is great so it works pretty good just fill and glue it together oh here's another uh, here's it I think it's a 2x4 window um, I had two of those. Pretty pretty easy to do. They take all the same amount of time. You know, doesn't matter how big the window is. Um, it takes the same amount of time. It's got four corners. Yeah, so I have to redo this one. I think it uh, height height changed. Um, normally, what I do. Uh, before I start welding, uh, there's little snots that get onto those uh, big uh, C-channel light beams that the, uh, you see the magnets on. 
uh, they'll leave a little, little puke on there and normally I grind those off hopefully you'll see that in the video I'm not sure I show that um, might have clipped it out but um, those snots are not good they're just little balls that fall off when you're welding and those should be removed before you lay anything flat on there oh and by the way these C channels are flat on the ground uh, concrete back here is extremely level uh, the Jose and his concrete boys did a good job out here um, so anyway I already checked that way back so the uh, frames are nice and true but anyway a lot of rinse and repeat stuff so the uh, this machine's kind of heavy uh, I'm not sure how much it weighs but it takes a little bit of effort to actually hold it um, and I don't mind grinding you know holding it up like I was doing um, the sparks don't really hit you in the face it all flies out the, uh, the side um, and here I am doing the uh, you know last finish welds on the bottom side. I'll grind those down, and uh, this window is done. Window frame is done. Uh, the install is going to be probably much more interesting, and uh, we'll show you that, of course, at a little future. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, you know doing every single one of these windows. I just uh, hopefully you'll get some idea of uh, detail work here. Um, you know, 43 windows. I, I thought it was quite a lot, but in a normal house you have like 20 plus windows anyway. So this house just has bigger windows. And here I am. I'm doing cleanup. I just decided to show you this uh, because it was kind of funny as hell. Because the dogs love this. <laughs> the, they love the blower, and I think I'm going to slow it down here in real time. And Izzy wants to eat it. So here we go. <laughs> She becomes a monster <laughs> trying to eat the, the air. And Whiskey, the black dog, um, he just he just gets all crazy. <laughs> so anyway, I think it's funny. Hopefully you do too. <laughs> all right, I don't want to bore you guys, but uh, we're getting close to being done here. Uh, so I'm just showing you the how the stack is kind of dimish, diminishing. Uh, here I'm working on the, the three foot by uh, six foot windows, and uh, I moved all the window frames that are stacked up behind me there. I moved them all in the trailer that's inside the shop, and uh, just keep them out of the weather. We we had a little bit of uh, rain and stuff the last couple of days, so um, we're under an awning, so it doesn't rain on there, but uh, uh, don't need to rust out anymore. Anyway, here you see me doing. The remeasuring, checking the, uh, the, the angles. The angles are the, the key thing, right? Making everything square. And just uh, a lot of welding. So hopefully you have a few more minutes left here, and then uh, we'll show you some other stuff. So a little bit about the welding. I, uh, I bought a Miller plasma cutter and a Miller 2015 uh, welder um, they're awesome um, the welds are amazing uh, it works extremely well I did uh, change quite a few tips on that thing um, they seem to get boogered up especially doing the inside 90, 90 degree welds uh, they get puked up and uh, so I had to I think buy four or five tips on there um, I don't mess with those I just switch them out I buy them in bulk and uh, off I go anyway there you saw me doing the, uh, the edge grind you know hand holding it finish weld um, it went pretty quick this is of course fed up 4x but if you break it down each one of these took me roughly maybe 15 20 minutes max to do so it wasn't that hard wasn't that uh, that slow I was kind of impressed that I got everything done within a day and a half and uh, um, the following day after this we we're installing windows and we'll show you that in the next video
Alright, so now we're getting near the end. So I decided to, you know, show you the, the very last window. Um, hopefully you don't find this painful, but uh, anyway, this is the last window of the set. We now have 43 windows after I finish this one, and uh, we're good to go for the installs. Um, maybe you'll get some more details out of this. The, the magnets are great. The, the aspect of the, the dry cut saw is extremely precise, so the cuts are true. Um, everything lines up really nicely, um, and I don't have, didn't have to bugger anything up uh, because of that. So everything came out. Uh, I, I was kind of more happy when things were just a little bit oversized by like an eighth or a sixteenth, because uh, the window rough openings, they say half an inch plus on every one of them. Uh, we'll see if that's true. Um, they are coming in two weeks, or more like a week and a half now. So I'll be working uh, kind of nonstop installing these frames into the, in the container house. Um, and you'll see that in the next video um, and uh, some interesting stuff there too. All right, so if you made it this far, the window is done. I'm gonna move the welder out of the way and then uh, blow everything clean. I'll show you that anyway, just because. Um, I like clean surrounding uh, work area and uh, I always just kind of go a little bit nuts with that stuff, but I cleaned several times during the day. I don't like it just piling up because um, I'm walking in it and moving around in it. So anyway, uh, I use the, uh, the leaf blower to move everything around get rid of all that dust off the edge of the, uh, the awning uh, pad here and uh, we're good to go anyway appreciate you guys watching uh, the next video is going to be I guess interesting because we're going to be putting the frames into the house um, I will be starting with the ones that um, go into the hallway uh, in the back side so I decided to do that just because it's covered and I won't have to worry about it we've got some weather coming anyway Anyway, thanks again. We'll talk at you later. Appreciate it. Ciao.